Hi everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Carissa Karamaya and for those who don't know me, I'm a real estate agent based here in Seattle, Washington and my main goal with this channel is to help educate people about the Seattle housing market, provide entertainment value and hopefully show you guys homes that you'll be looking to purchase in, in the future if you live outside the area or don't have time to view homes in person. Today we'll be taking a look at this gorgeous four bedroom three bath home built in 1971. It has 2500 square feet but it's done from top to bottom as you can probably tell from right behind me over there. It has a brand new bathroom in the ensuite, new countertops, new flooring, new everything, new roof. So let's go check this house out. It is absolutely gorgeous and you will not believe the space that it has inside. Please also don't forget to subscribe if you guys have not been subscribed yet and like the video if you guys want to see more content like this. It really helps me to know what you guys like and what I should show you guys. And so with that being said, let's get on with the tour. So starting at this entrance over here. You can tell that this home has amazing sunlight that comes into it during the daytime. It's a little bit of a cloudy day here in Bellevue, Washington, about 20 minutes outside of Seattle, but not too bad for the last day of the year. This home has a two car garage, four bedrooms, three bathrooms, 2,500 square feet. Beautiful, done from top to bottom. There's a basement level, top level. Let's go check it out. So when you first enter, you first enter through these double doors over here. And then you're met with this beautiful split entryway. You have the option to go down to the basement level or to go up to the main level to start off with. We'll be headed up to the main level. And so up, to, up the stairs we go. And the first area you're going to check out are these amazing double doors leading onto your private deck. The backyard is a little underdeveloped, but you can really do with this what you want, especially if you have the time and the means. You have a little sitting area over here to do some reading, to entertain some guests, or to play some games, some family games, whatever you would like to do. Maybe you can put a bookshelf right over there. And then it goes right into your kitchen area. This kitchen is very modern, as you can see. Brand new quartz countertops. A nice bar top that can fit about two to three bar stools so you can sit some guests here if you need to have them around the kitchen area as you feed them on a charcuterie board or something. Lots of counter space, very desirable, lots of storage, big storage as well. Lots of places to put cups, plates, bowls. Very deep farm sink as well, who doesn't like that? This does have an electric grill, no gas grill, but that is all personal preference. You have three racks here in the stove. Good ventilation. And this is a touch that I personally love. The microwave kind of integrated with the cabinets instead of having to place it on the countertop or right above the oven, which can kind of look not as great. So we open this up, very convenient right next to your fridge as well so that you can just grab a snack throw it in the microwave good size fridge this house will come with all the appliances as well going down here this will be the dishwasher all these appliances are changeable but it's always nice to know when a place comes with them because you don't have to spend the extra money and buying a house can be expensive as it is so who wants to spend the extra money now we're going on to the dining room area where well, you can see your split level stairs to this dining room area and then a nice family room over that way. There is a step here, so it's a little bit sunken. Amazing chandelier right here. I love the little candle theme that it has going on. It makes it almost natural looking. You got spaces for big couches, great windows, an amazing fireplace. A really good space to hang out with the family and to also eat dinner. Headed down to the left over here, there will be some bed bedrooms and bathrooms as well as some storage in here. Good size storage. Headed down here 
at first, we turn to the left, and here will be the first bathroom. As you can see, everything is really done up, even though this house was built in the 1970s. Really attractive stone there on the wall. Black flixtures to, uh, to really accent the white. They did a really good job doing this home. Then head into the first bedroom. Really, really good sized room in my opinion. A lot of other homes I tore even more expensive than this $1.7 million tend to have smaller rooms. They're going to the second bedroom again. A nice running theme of a really, really good sized room. Nice closet space as well in both the rooms, making sure that you can store away all your clothes and there's plenty of room here for a dresser as well if you need more room. There's more storage over here. Shoes, coats, whatever you really need. And then going on to the master bedroom, you can tell there's a bit more space in here, a bit more light. There's an ensuite that we'll check out here soon. Go into this closeted area. There's much more space in here. It kind of extends through here and then goes all the way out here. So definitely an upgrade over the other rooms. Then headed down this way, you're headed towards the ensuite. You have a nice chair where you can look out the view of the front home. Look at that. Then headed down here, this is going to be your ensuite bathroom. You got double mirrors right here, double vanity as well, lots of storage down below, very important. And this is something you don't see in bathrooms often, you have a whole closet in the bathroom. There's no washer or dryer in here, it's just a closet so that you can store whatever you need. Toilet nicely there in the corner and take a look at this shower, take a look at the designs in this shower. Look at that flooring. Go into the walls, then the little cutout there so you can put your soaps or anything. This has two options. You can either grab this one or you can have more of a rainfall shower head. It's always nice having multiple options. Very, very gorgeous countertops. Then headed out this way. We'll be headed towards the downstairs area, which is going to be surprisingly large. I was very surprised myself when I went down there and I checked it out. So let's go ahead and take a look. The first thing that you kind of see when you step down here would be this laundry room. Mix with this bathroom. So you got a nice shower right here. Very modern. Nice vanity. Toilet, nice mirror. And then storage above the laundry. You can even add a second skinnier one if you want to, so that you can have even more storage. Then going on to the last bedroom. This one's a really, really, really good size for guests, as you can tell. Great closet space as well, just in case you want to store something. And of course, even in the basement, though, there's light coming in. Headed down this way, you see more storage. Always good to have a lot of storage in a home. Lots of things you have to store away. And then this basement might just be my favorite part. This little office in this corner area right here. A nice little sitting area with games set up. Perfect for housing guests or when the kids are over. Then going down to this main sitting area, it has a different kind of color and vibe than the first sitting area in the upstairs. The fireplace is a little bit different, a little bit more older themed. I, I personally love it. You have storage down here and down here, very unique. They could have just used that as a wall, but they actually utilize that space properly and well. And then you get views of the outside through right here.
So guys, I'm in the back of the home right now, and what do you think about the home tour? Is it a place that you can see yourself living? It's $1.7 million, a little bit too much to ask for the home, or do you just love it? Please give me your input down below in the comments. Please also don't forget to subscribe, comment, and like the video as it helps me out a lot. And if you guys wanna keep on seeing more content like this, the help will be greatly appreciated to help me keep on going and improve my quality over time. Thank you guys again. Please like, subscribe, and don't forget to comment, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.